Hi, Noel Morales here, founder of Connected Dots Learning, and one of the questions that many of the parents ask me is this, why is it that my child can't reread a word that they just finished sounding out in a sentence? Well, I'm going to go back to the five key components of reading, which are phonemic awareness, phonics and decoding, fluency, vocabulary, and comprehension. They have to have a strong background in all of these, but the reason that they're struggling with sounding out a word that they just finished sounding out is because they don't have the automaticity, they don't have the fluency, and they probably still need to have a stronger background in their phonics and decoding and their phonemic awareness. So, what I would suggest is to go back and to go and go over their phonics instruction, go over each letter of the alphabet, start with the letter A, start and then go with the B and then continue on. But there has to be a systematic approach to teaching them all these sounds, and they have to be very, very comfortable being able to tell you that the B is the B and you spell the B with the letter B. So they have to know how to do that. Once they're able to do that, then the sounding out is going to become easier, it's going to become more fluent, and they'll be able to recognize the words that they weren't recognizing before. The last thing I want to say about this is that in terms of the phonics instruction, again, it's got to be systematic, it's got to have an approach, um, but we need to expose them to reading material that's going to have a lot of rhymes. If there's reading material that has a lot of rhymes, then they're going to start to be able to see patterns. And I've mentioned this before, so if you have the rhyme in, and then you have a bunch of onsets like the letter B, and then you add N to it, then that spells bin. If you put a T and N, then that spells ten. If you put a TH and N, then it's thin. We need to continue to develop the, these skills for them so that they're able to recognize that if that that's the word N, that that's the rhyme N, and if we just add an initial consonant in front of N, then it's going to produce different words. That's the tip for today, and I hope to see you again at the next video. Thank you.